Uh, Angus Price, thanks for joining us. Um, a three-wicket win for Kent. Your thoughts on the match first, please. <laughs> Another fast-forward game, isn't it? We seem to be sort of playing those at Lords. So, no, disappointment. Um, but some pride as well. We've got two youngsters out there who've really sort of shown some promise in, in, in Ethan Bamboo, who we've seen a few times, and Martin Anderson. Uh, so to see those two playing is, is really encouraging and, and looking like they can uh, compete on this stage. But yeah, disappointment because obviously it ends uh, any chance of us getting promoted this year and that was a uh, uh, principal goal at the start of the season. So uh, a quiet dressing room. Um, we haven't played well enough again. We've made mistakes. Uh, obviously the pitch has had quite a bit in it for, for the bowlers. Um, but I say we've struggled to get... I say a big score, a game, a score on the board that's going to dominate. But our bowlers have competed hard, and we've we've fought right to the end. So yeah, they've shown a lot of character in the way that they go about it. We had a number of these games. We've won a few. Um, you're not going to win them all, are you? Because uh, in those scoring sort of tight affairs, uh, someone's going to do something with the opposition that's going to get them over the line. You mentioned that mathematically it's gone now. Of course, the harder kick is because it's a defeat to a rival, isn't it? That does it. It is, and uh, I suppose. Again, beating Kent would have still been hard. Um, you look at the games, Kent are playing Glamorgan, I think, and obviously Glamorgan has struggled this year. So, and Warwick seemed so a long way ahead. So, I say both at Kent and, and Sussex would have been difficult to pass. Uh, we beat Sussex the other week. Uh, obviously, it's been nice to beat Kent this this week, but uh, I say they just got past us. That did mark an upturn in the season. You mentioned the uh, the kids as well, how well they did in this match, um, it, you know, really bowled impressively. But you mentioned the batting as well. That's been the hard part of this season. In this one, again, nobody's past 50. Yeah, it's. I say you look at that pitch, and it, I mean, I don't think there was some. I mean, it's done enough, but there wasn't. There was some pretty indifferent batting, I thought, on the on the, on the first day. Um, but you look at both batting sides, and uh, I did some figures the other day before the last round of matches, and you look at bonus points in the division. Canterbury was bottom uh, in batting bonus points, and Lords was 16th. I think the average first innings score at that stage at Canterbury was 150 when both sides first innings of the match for both sides and the average score here was 222 again again that was sort of 16th and 18th so batting's certainly not been difficult at those these two grounds and I think you saw that uh, in this match you've got uh, players playing without a great deal of confidence expecting the ball to do something a lot of the time it is doing something and uh, and it it's it's hard for batsmen when you you're sort of wondering whether there's a ball with your name on it coming along very soon. Yeah, I was going to ask that. You mentioned the confidence there. That to the first half of the season, perhaps catch up on them in a bit. I mean, you know, went on this three-match winning run. Bristol was difficult for a couple of reasons, really, wasn't it? Um, and then uh, again here, you know, it was, it was it was a lot left to do in the second half of the season. It is, and I say you you, you reflect on the season. You're all right. We beat North Ants here, um, outplayed by Derbyshire. At Derby didn't play very well there. I think we'd have, if we'd have had enough cricket, we'd have beaten Glamorgan because we got 200 and they were 30 for four. Um, should have beaten Sussex, really got ourselves in a good position there and, 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 and lost that game. And I got the Bristol game, uh, sorry, a game against uh, Gloucestershire here, we, that's almost the best game of cricket we've played this season, really. We got 450 on the board, uh, bowled them out, made them follow on and, and, and sort of struggled to bowl them out on the final day on a, on a, on a flat deck here. So. Yeah, we left ourselves. It wasn't the second half of the season. As you say, we've played pretty well in there, or we've competed very hard, certainly in the last four or five games, but uh, we left ourselves too much to do. Obviously, you made the change mid season. Um, Richard Scott decided he wouldn't stay until the end of the season and he'd go. Um, how much of a shake up do you feel like you need in the winter? Obviously, you've got to appoint the head coach first. Um, you didn't go with the overseas this year because you want to, get to give the players a chance, which you said quite clearly at the start of the season. But obviously, hindsight's great, isn't it? You look back and think, well, a couple of injuries at the start of the season. Maybe we could have re recruited in a top overseas overseas bat for the year to bolster them, but that would have blocked off the route for the for the youngsters. But going into next year, is that something obviously that's considered? Uh, well, I think the challenge is find a top order, great top order bat, sort of top quality top order bat. I mean, um, you get in early, you you get a better pick, um, but sort of players' availability is constantly sort of for to and fro, and you're looking at sort of the. Uh, the players that are being signed up now, um, so they're good cricketers, but uh, they're not sort of the, in the top ten in the world, are they? Type of thing. So, if you're going to get someone who you know or you can pretty much feel assured is going to make a huge difference, that then go for it. But I say we've had a we've had a lot of injuries, and I say you look at the bowling lineup, and I say we've got a, we've got four seamers out today. Um, Roland Jones, Harris, Murta and Helm, which is... It'll be like having a couple of new players well, at the start of next season, won't it? That's probably your starting attack at the start of the season. Um, so, 
yeah, I mean, it, it, it sounds like you're making excuses, but you, we all sit down, we try and analyze. We haven't played well enough, that's the starting point, we accept that. And there's a lot of things for us to work on, but um, there have been some mitigating factors, even though some people sit there thinking, oh, you're just making out of excuses. But if you look at the season, I think the best we've had is only three players out injured for one game. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whereas other sides, they're pretty much full strength, and it does make a difference because you are uh, asking a lot of people with Used 22 players so far this year, which uh, which tells you, and we're not a side that sort of wants to uh, juggle things around for the sake of it. Yeah, will you have to juggle it around much for the next couple of weeks? There's the the hundred up at um, Trent Bridge, isn't there? So perhaps you lose Owen Morgan for that one, perhaps Paul Sterling as well. Do you need, do you know yet? No. No. Why would we, why would we lose him if we wanted to play for us? Yeah. Well, there was the report that the centrally contracted ones would go. Uh, obviously, it hasn't been confirmed by anybody, but you, you... It hasn't been relayed to me. So. Yeah. Yeah. And the head coach, is there any anything close to being appointed on that front? I mean, now that mathematically it's gone, I guess that perhaps frees you up a little bit more in, in talking about it because well, the season's still live as such, you don't want to be making appointments. Uh, no, it doesn't. We're, we're still going about our business and we'll mm. carry on to do that and we'll, we'll announce something when we're good and ready. Nothing soon, though. <laughs> could be, could not be. <laughs> and and Zabsh, uh, next week, there is still a season to play for. There is still two oh. games and there is still, I guess... You know, you'll you still look for a response in those two games from, from those that are selected, even if a couple of kids are given a chance. You know, obviously James Harris was fatigued for this one, wasn't he? Uh, we'll, we'll be looking to play a strong side. I mean, you, you're playing for Middlesex, you're playing for a club with a lot of rich history and a very proud club, and you want to win every game that you play. And Yes, we, we want to see what a couple of players are about, but equally we want to finish the season strongly and, and start playing some decent cricket. So there's a huge amount to play for. I mean, two games, it's... I'd say I can't, I can't work out what percentage of a season is, but yeah. uh, it, it, it's quite a bit of cricket, and players only have so many opportunities. So you want to take them because you'll soon be 35, and yeah. and, uh, and then at the end of your career, I'm wishing you could go back, and you can't you can't buy these opportunities when you when you're retired. Yeah, it does it does next season start now really for that for for that team? Yeah, because it, it is pretty much the same side that you'll be expecting to line up, as you say, with those injured players coming back at the start of next year, with perhaps one tweak or two in the side. It, every game's important. You go out there and you try and when you want to perform. I mean, they're, they're a proud lot. I mean, I don't know. I, not that I sort of look at social media and all that sort of. You hear comments about people make and uh, they're a proud and competitive lot in there. They they want to do well. There's no one more disappointed than they are. And just sitting down and talking about the game, it's a very subdued environment. And uh, they'll want to go out there and, and finish the season strongly and try and put in a performance or two that uh, uh, that sort of. I suppose makes the figures look a lot better than they maybe currently do.